Yeah, Russ and Sarah, good evening to you both. Just a beautiful day here out on the water. And what's really cool is that the Rotary Club of Cleveland sponsored 19 local students as a part of Project Yes to teach students how to navigate the open waters of Lake Erie. Carl Bachtel takes a, takes a look. You know, I'm tearing up thinking about it. <laughs> Tears of joy from a mom as the ship her daughter called home for the last six days prepares to dock. The Dennis Sullivan has been all over the Great Lakes. They started in Milwaukee and they went up through to Mackinac and then down and then through Detroit and to here. They stopped at um, Putin Bay. Fair winds meant smooth sailing for the three-masted schooner. The students, like Naomi Morris, learned about the Great Lakes and how to sail them. We always had a helping hand, you know, but we also had enough responsibility in our hands to have a purpose on the boat. So we were all working together, a lot of teamwork. As kids left the tall ship to embrace family and friends, they all share the memories of days and nights spent on the water. My most favorite thing was definitely the stars at night. When you're out on the water in the middle of Lake Erie or Huron or Michigan even, uh, you can see the stars really bright. It was a whole different way of travel for me. And um, it was, it was just, it, everything was new. Everything about it was new. Project Yes is sponsored by the Rotary Club of Cleveland. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. We can't wait to hear all the stories from them being out sailing. But first, a few more hugs. In Cleveland, Carl Bachtel, Channel 3 News. Carl, thanks so much. And boy, so much fun along this, aboard this ship as well. And as we mentioned before, teaching students not only about how to navigate the water, but also about environmental sustainability. And as you know, Lake Erie water levels at nearly record highs. And so we'll chat more with Captain Tiffany about how that impacts navigation. But of course,